This video is brought to you by Yellow Jacket. 66 years of expertise built into every tool. And by House Call Pro. If you're still handwriting invoices or using any kind of paper for your business, it's time to get with the times and check out House Call Pro for dispatching, scheduling, invoicing, estimates, texting customers to let them know that you're on the way, and texting them to let them know when the job is complete, accepting payments, whether it's cash, check, credit, or credit card processing. Check out House Call Pro. For a free demo, go to www.housecallpro.com forward slash Israel HVAC for a free demo and a discount on the product. All right, guys, we got a unit here with a bad condenser fan motor. It's in warranty. So we're going to swap that out. Okay, this is the one that doesn't have a contactor. It's got the board on it. It's a two-stage system. I'm surprised it doesn't have a ECM motor. I didn't condemn this one. Uh, one of the other guys did, and I was just dispatched out here to change it. So we're going to get started on that. Well, this one here is going to be fun. Look at that shaft. It spins free, so I called the guy. That condemned it and he said uh he said he's got power to it capacitors was good it just don't spin good stuff right here wd-40 has nothing on this stuff Normally I can get them off without a puller, but what I usually do is knock it down and then sand and spray real good and pull it off, but it may not happen with this one. All right, guys, this sucker's on there. I didn't use this one to start off with. Y'all probably seen videos on it because I lost the piece that goes in the set screw. So I used my regular one with the impact driver. Wouldn't touch it. But I think I could still do it without the set screw part. This is the Creative Products. The one that you, you hammer. I have one other obstacle. I don't have a hammer. Where my hammer usually is on the truck, it ain't there. So... I'm going to do it with a big crescent and see if I can get this thing to move. If not, I might have to ask the customer if I can borrow a hammer. I hate that, but I don't know where my hammer ran off to. So we're going to see what happens. All right, guys. So I'm headed to the ream supplier to pick up a new blade. Reason is, is because, yeah, that thing wasn't coming off. Even with the... Uh, creative products one now i didn't have I, I don't have the the screws for the set screw i don't know how big a difference that would have made and a hammer may have made uh, a difference but i really don't think so i have i had a really big crescent and i was whacking it pretty good so i don't think it was going to come off i mean there sometimes it it just they just you know I'm not saying I couldn't get it off, you know, I mean, I could cut the shaft, you know, heat it up with the torch and use a punch and all that, but, you know, by the time I do all that, I might, and, 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 and here's the thing, it's in warranty, 
okay? And it's not like the supply house is out of stock or blah, blah, blah. You know, if, if all those things were a factor, that's different. Cut the shaft, heat up the torch, use a punch, whatever. But that's not the case. The unit's in warranty. It's not that old. We'll just go grab a blade and be done with it. So we'll see y'all when we get back to the job. All right, guys, there's the new one. New motor, new blade. There's the old one. I questioned them about this blade, but it's the same dimensions, uh, same rotation, same pitch, everything. And they said this is the OEM blade. So we're gonna roll with it. We're gonna put it on and uh, unfortunately, I don't like this. I won't be able to see it run because there's nobody home and this unit doesn't have a contactor, so. Uh, I do wish that I could see it run, but, well, I guess I could wire the, uh, the fan motor hot, but I don't know. Maybe somebody will be home by the time I get done. We'll see. Okay, it's all put back together, all wired up. The homeowner actually just got home. I told her to turn it on. So we should be able to see this thing operate, which I'm very happy about. Here we go. Yes. Beautiful. Nice and quiet. Good air discharge. Good, good, good. All right, so I'm pretty happy with the way that came out, especially since the customer got home and was able to turn the unit on for me so that I could actually see it run. I don't like to make repairs like that and not see the unit run. You know, with these higher efficiency units, like, you know, that ring, they don't have a contactor on them. They just have a board. Um, I'm not sure that there's a test mode that I could have put it in. I probably could have. I didn't even look for that. But the customer got home. So I'm not very familiar with, the, with those rings yet, but I'm getting there. There may have been a test mode I could have put it in. Um, so somebody can help me out with that if they know. Worst thing, worst uh, case scenario, if the customer wouldn't have got home, I could have just wired, the, it was a PSC motor. I could have just, surprised it wasn't an ECM, but it was a PSC. I could have just wired it hot. The two line voltage legs, hot to the, uh, to, to the terminals where my whip came in and just left the capacitor wire on the capacitor. But we didn't have to do none of that. The customer got home turned it on you saw it run so i'm happy all right guys thank y'all for watching and uh there'll be more field videos coming we'll see you guys on the next one